Man, y'all, I just want to do this real, real quick video. Um, so as you guys can see, right, um, the the row row checks, you know, I guess they got that package. The row row checks are coming, right? But it's funny because in the beginning I heard a year. I was like, oh wow, America is gonna pay out twelve hundred dollars for a year. Whew. You know, then that then it shrank down to six months. I was like, well, I, yeah, that, that's not bad. Then I heard four months. And I was like, uh, okay, four months. Now it's a one-time <laughs> it's a one-time payment, a one-time um check. And, and it's like, oh, man, it's like, it's unbelievable, right? Because it's like you can sit here and watch them bail out Wall Street billions of dollars watch them bail out the airline industry billions of dollars watch them bail out the auto industry billions of dollars watch them bail out these banks billions billions of dollars and it's like now when it comes to helping the people like the best you can do is a one time $1200 check oh my gosh you know I, me it's like all right if you're not going to give us some money at least all right suspend the rent Suspend mortgages, suspend other, you know, debt, like maybe student loan debt, right? Because, you know, when you look at all these other countries like Canada, Italy, like they suspending their rent and mortgages for months. I think it's about four to about six months, you know, suspending the rent and the mortgages. That's cool. People could save, actually, you know, have a break from paying rent. I mean, out here in this country, in America, that's all we do is pay bills, pay rent, pay more. So it's like, that would be a nice break in the midst of this pandemic. You would think logically they would do something like that for the people. When they gonna, when are they going to do something right by the people? It don't matter who's president. It don't matter who's in office. It's always going to be about the people on top. It's always going to be about the people on top of the pyramid. You know, when you look at the back of that dollar bill, you see that top of the pyramid? Notice how it's separated from the rest of the period. It's always going to be about that. You know what I mean? It's just unbelievable at the time when you would think they would do right by the people, especially dropping the ball, knowing about this virus since November, October. Dropped the ball on it. Now it's too late to try to control it. You know what I mean? And... You're adding fear on top of it because you have all these other agendas. It's like, they just don't care about us. I hope you see. It's a, it's, it's a country that is falling apart. It's, it, it's, it's bankrupt. They just don't want to tell you. The only thing that's keeping the money alive is your belief in it, and my belief, and our belief in it. There's nothing back in the money. Um, they're going to print unlimited money because of this this whole situation. I'm gonna print stimulus packages all day. All you know, money all day. Helicopter money. It's gonna be falling out the sky. Right? But you know, come on. Twelve hundred bucks one time. I mean, I had rent payments in apartments that was twelve hundred bucks. It's people that's gonna be out of work for a long time, you know what I mean? So at least it might, you know, at least this could work out for small businesses and corporations because they're going to get the majority, the bulk of the money to, to pay their employees, to keep businesses flowing. Um, and they don't have to pay back the loan. It's a loan. They don't have to pay back as long as they pay their employees. Um, you know, student loans will be suspended till September 30th. No late, pen no late payment penalty penalties. I mean, how about just suspend 70% of people's student loans? Like, how about do that? Um, and this is very unfortunate, especially for the brothers, because some, some, some brothers have legitimate reasons. Um, if you owe back child support, no check for you. It's unfortunate. Again, the brothers always end up taking the L. You know, some of them rightfully so, not everyone. You know, some 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 brothers I have legitimate reasons. Some people get sick. Some people gotta be out of work. Some people get sick. Some people got other issues going on. Some people get hurt on the job and 
They may not be able to make child support payments, but they've been making it for 15 years, and then all of a sudden, they got a year or two years they can't make it, and you know, they look, they look, they looked upon like they're like they're nothing, like they're the worst of the worst. But people have situations, and it's unfortunate they ain't gonna begin to check. See, people gotta understand is that slavery, that the slavery that built this country and made it wealthy, it didn't disappear, it just evolved. You know, when you hear these major corporations saying, hey, these, you know, people got to get back to work. You know, I don't care if they get sick. I don't care if they fall out and I don't care if they die. They need to get back to work. We need we losing money. We losing money. They, they need to get back to work. That's what this is all about. It's a capitalistic society. It's all about capitalism. It's all about the money. It's all about the people on top. And everybody else is just a debt slave. They just cattle. They just, they just, they just sheep. You know, you just you just work in the system. Had a friend that sh- um, shared me this photo over there in um, the street in Nashville. How they hit up the skies with chemtrails. I mean, you know, we got to really start thinking about how we, you know, moving forward. How we gonna eat? Um, what we gonna do? How we gonna survive differently? How we gonna evolve? Because we got to start thinking differently, especially after all of this has happened. We can't move forward thinking the same because if this happened now, this definitely could happen again and it could happen uh, much worse. So and when it does, like, how are we going to prepare? How are you going to prepare? You know, how am I going to prepare? It's something that we got to start thinking about. We got to start thinking differently and moving differently because as we can see, they're not really for us. But if God is for us, then who could be against us? Peace, y'all.